It's an overcast day in Mount Vernon, Illinois, as a General Electric U23B goes about its work switching the small yard. Number 2740, like the line it is working, is former Louisville and Nashville. Now wearing family lines paint with SBD reporting marks, the locomotive belongs to the Seaboard System Railroad, which is owned by the CSX Corporation. However, CSX, the railroad, doesn't exist yet. Confused? The CSX Corporation was formed when Chessie System Incorporated merged with Seaboard Coastline Industries on November 1, 1980. Chessie and Seaboard were both holding companies controlling several railroads under common ownership. The Chesapeake and Ohio, Baltimore and Ohio, and Western Maryland were under the Chessie banner. Seaboard Coastline, Louisville and Nashville, Clinchfield, Georgia Railroad, Atlanta and West Point, and a handful of smaller lines were operated under the family line's name. The family line's image was replaced as the individual components were merged into the Seaboard System Railroad, which was created on January 1, 1983. CSX Transportation, a subsidiary of CSX Corporation, would not come into being until June 1, 1986. By the time number 2740 was filmed at Mount Vernon in March 1985, plenty of changes had happened, with more still to come. Mount Vernon was located at milepost 408 on the L&N main line from Evansville, Indiana to East St. Louis, Illinois. We are back in Mount Vernon as a pair of U-23Bs works the local freight. Number 2742 is in untouched Louisville and Nashville paint. The date is April 11, 1986, and we are in the heart of Seaboard System territory. We are at the 27th Street Interlocking in Birmingham, Alabama. A trio of SD40-2s leads a train across the Norfolk Southern Diamonds. A couple of mornings later, we are back at 27th Street. A trio of SD40-2s looms out of a thick early morning fog and bangs over the Norfolk Southern. Between Delafield and Opdyke, Illinois, State Highway 142 parallels the former Ellen Dan St. Louis line. We pick up the chase of a westbound from Bell Rive to Opdyke. In the lead is an SD40 2, still wearing Clinchfield colors. On another day, we pace a pair of GP38-2s on the eastbound local from Opdyke to Delafield. The date is June 19, 1988, and CSX has finally started to develop its own image. A rare GP35 is among locomotives wearing brand new CSX paint as a westbound passes through Mount Vernon. The 
The integration of the Chessie and Seaboard rosters is evident as we pace another westbound from Delafield to Dahlgren.